Now we're going to look at installing a more robust web server. In fact, the Apache web server that we're going to install powers most of the web applications that are on the internet today. So first, uh, let's open up a terminal and we're going to run the following command for the installation. sudo apt-get install apache2 space dash y and I will put a list of these commands in the resources for the lecture but go ahead and type this command in and if we hit enter now the installation process is in progress to install the Apache web server and of course it's going out to pull down all the dependencies and, and libraries and so on. The APT package installation system is doing this for us. So let's give it a few seconds and uh, then we will check out our Apache web server. Okay, so now the installation is complete. Let's go ahead and fire up our browser and try to hit our web server. So I'm going to open a, a Chromium tab here and I'm just going to enter in here localhost. Essentially just localhost and uh, what would come up is the actual Apache 2 Debian default page. So as you see here, this means that our Apache server is up and running. So <laughs> we are good to go. So there are a few things that I'd like to cover pertaining to the Apache web server. Let's go ahead and open up our file manager. And the root folder that Apache uses to serve up the web content is the var www html folder. So to get there, if we go to our file system and we go to var www html, this is where the content is loaded up by default. So just want to bear that in mind. And of course, we can get to there. We can navigate from our file system doing a cd slash var www html. And in here, we see that index.html file. So that's the home folder where the files are saved up from. Another point about this folder is by default, it is owned by the root user. So in order to write to this folder, you need to write as the root user. You can change the permissions for the pi user to write to this folder, but that's just a side note to bear in mind that the var .html by default is owned by the root user and belongs to the root group. Also, in order to access your web server, instead of using localhost, you can put in your IP address. So again, the IP address that I was assigned was 10.0.0.1.17. So from any device that's connected to your network, you can enter your 10.0.0.1.17 and you will get that Apache default page. Let's go ahead and create actually a new page and let's try to save it up from our var www.html folder. So I'm going to switch back to the terminal and we'll use leafpad to create our HTML page. So I'm going to do sudo leafpad and I'm going to let's call the file hello.html. Okay, and this opens up a leafpad for us and I'm just going to type in this is our custom HTML file. Okay. We are displaying this content on our Apache server. Okay. And we could put in a, a HTML line break in there. We're just going to save this file and uh, we can close it off. And of course, if you do an ls here, you should see your hello.html and we can bring that up in a browser. So at the end of our 10.0.0.117, it's actually bringing up the index.html page by default, but I'm just gonna put a slash and we're going to put in our hello.html and there it is. So there's our custom 
page or a new page that we created we're serving it up on our apache server and also you can access this from your local host and if you do the uh, hello dot html the same page will come up uh, but of course if you're trying to get to this from any other device that's connected to your network just use the ip address of your raspberry pi and put in the page you want to access and your content will be served up from the Apache server.